Hey there guys, I'm Sonicos and today we are here to do a first impressions video over Ring Fit Adventures for the Nintendo Switch. I recently just did an unboxing video of this, so if you want to go ahead and check that unboxing video out, the link will be down in the description below. I highly recommend you watch that video before you watch this one if you want to see everything that comes with Ring Fit to get an idea of all the accessories needed to play this game. But without any further ado, let's just jump straight into things. Okay, so now we are going to be doing a first impressions here of Ring Fit Adventure. So I got myself everything I need, got myself the Ring Con itself here already attached with a Joy-Con. I got myself leg strap on right here. So we are all good. And I got myself an extra controller. That way I can go ahead and navigate these menus because there's no easy way to navigate the menus on the Switch home screen with this kind of a weird setup with this accessory and all. And last but not least, you gotta have some water. There's no way you can do anything fitness related without a good old bottle of water. Remember to stay hydrated. So I think without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into the game. All right, so now we won't be needing this controller anymore, presumably. So let's pick up the ring, get rid of the pro controller. And I'm gonna do my very best in this section to treat the audio here as best as I can as I'm standing right underneath a fan. You can't be doing a workout without a fan running, so I do apologize that the audio may not be the cleanest in this section, but I'll do my best. Leg strap and left and right Joy-Con ready. Let's put on the leg strap. Make sure you have a clear view of the screen so you can see the instructions. Can I skip this? Oh yeah, you can just press the pause button, you can skip the whole thing. Perfect, because I don't really need to know how to put on the leg strap. It's already on my body. Okay, so now in order to calibrate the ring, we need to place it down on a flat surface. So I'm just going to use, you know, the bed behind me. Make it easier. Just wait a second here. I don't know how long this is going to take to calibrate. Okay, it's already done. So now pick it up and squeeze the ring in. There you go. So now we can pick our location, either in Canada or outside of Canada. That's very descriptive. We can turn the direction here with the ring. So I'm going to say it's outside of a Canada location because I'm in the United States. So outside of Canada has been selected. Let's go ahead and close. So here's everything. Here's my ring. I can go ahead and twist and turn it. Got my leg strap here. I'm moving around my leg. And you can see it's accurately moving around with me. It even has a little bit of speed and strength reading so I can see just how hard I'm squeezing things. That's 100%. That's actually kind of interesting. You can squeeze this thing in real, real far. So you move the cursor, you confirm and cancel. Okay, so pulling out is the only thing I didn't know yet. Cancel is just pulling the ring outwards. So let's go ahead and continue on. So we have multiple different modes here. We have adventure, we have the quick play, we've got a custom mode multitask mode, rhythm game, and an index, which I'm guessing that's just, you know, extra stats, tips, and all that. As it says on the screen, useful tips about health. So, you know what? Let's just go ahead and just jump straight into the main attraction. Let's go ahead and look at adventure mode. So I'm gonna pick my profile. I got a couple different profiles on the Switch. I'm gonna pick my main one here. Yep, that's me. Give myself plenty of room to move around. Yeah, as much room as you can work with in a space like this. Let's go ahead and continue. Hello, hello to you too. Welcome to Ring Fit Adventure. We'll go on an adventure and enjoy ring fitness. By the way, there's something you absolutely must remember whenever you're doing ring fitness. And that is proper posture. Even if you believe that you're doing the ex exercise correctly, if your posture is off, you can easily reduce how effective the exercise is. Now please allow me to introduce our resident posture professional. Man, you know the world's screwed up if you have to have a professor to teach you about posture. So presenting the impeccable postured paragon of possibility or posability. Man, there's so many P's. That's a tongue twister right there. So it's tip. Hi tip. Tip will demonstrate what it means to have proper posture. Once you master proper posture, you can dive into your exercise knowing you're getting even more out of them. Be sure to watch Tip closely and enjoy ring fitness. 
So the guy there on the screen, Tip, I'm guessing that's the guy you'll be focusing on while doing all your exercises in Ring Fit. So let's copy his movements. Cursor is moving up and down correctly here. So up is literally straight up and down straight down, which makes a lot of sense. So I did it just like that. That's done. Practice the cursor again. Okay. Looks like you got the hang of basic controls. Have any trouble, you can navigate with the direction and the buttons instead. Okay, so using either the stick or the buttons for this is just gonna be a lot easier in some areas, especially when the stick is just facing me already. First, we should figure out your ideal difficulty level. To do this, you need to ask a few questions. If you like, it can estimate your muscle mass based on your body. Okay, so now we just determine what we are. We'll just answer all these truthfully. I'm a male. How old am I? Oh, I am not gonna do this with the ring. I'm just gonna manually type this. I am 26. 26, got it. How much do you think you exercise compared to others in your age group? I mean, I, I'd say you know, some. I don't do this pretty regularly, but I'm pretty on and off with exercise, so I'll say I exercise some. How challenging do you want the exercise to be? If it's too much, you can always adjust the difficulty. I'll, I'll say moderate, because this game can get pretty intense when I've seen. So we'll just go with moderate for now. I can always bump it up. So we'll provide a good workout. That's fine with me. Right, I'm learning so much about you. I'm learning so much about posture, I guess. All right, so now I guess it's just taking all information and changing the difficulty. Okay, yeah, so I just changed it. If you like things are too easy or too difficult, worry not. The exercise can be adjusted daily. All right, so I can just change it on the fly. Good to know. Next, what would you estimate your weight to be? Okay, so let me just go ahead and just answer all this because I actually weighed myself not too long ago. So right now I am 162 pounds, which I would say for my BMI, it's borderline to an overweight area. I, I'm still healthy. I just don't feel like I have enough energy a lot of the times, hence why I want to do more workouts in general and rank fit would be a good way to push my body to an extreme. So this is at least one of the best things to do when you're stuck at home is just do ring fit. So ring fitness, you will jog in place. If you're worried about bothering others when you run, you can always turn on silent mode. So I heard silent mode isn't as strenuous of a workout, but it is good if you're living in like, say in a comp uh, apartment complex where you're on like the second or third floor and you don't want to disturb your neighbors, but I'm fine on default because this is a one story house. There's no extra floors. It's just one floor. So I don't have to worry about noise. I can always change this later in the menu, so don't have to worry about it. So I can calibrate the ring con and lead shaft to match your strength. Okay. So this is important because this ring is very, very strong. So I can't just push into 100% all the time. So let's calibrate this thing correctly. So measure your pressing power. Follow the example the here. Both hands while facing forward. Press in hard on the ring con. Okay. That wasn't that bad. So I think the ring now is calibrated. So now let's do pulling power. Forward, holding the ring con in both hands. Pull outward hard on the ring con. Okay. Man, you really have to pull this ring. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna snap my arms off just pulling this ring. It's really sturdy. So now it's calibrated. All right, now let's calibrate the leg strap. So measure your light jogging. Make sure the leg strap is wrapped securely around your leg thigh. Oh, it's definitely secure. Oh, I made sure of that. And stand up straight. Lightly jog in place. All right, so I'm just gonna do this. All right, so that was a light jog. Now it's time to run fast. Spread your feet slightly and stand up straight. Quickly jog in place. All right, here we go. Okay. Okay, I would definitely say with my setup, jogging's definitely one of the most concerning things because uh, 
This microphone setup you see on me, it's attached to my body in a pocket. So my microphone is wireless right now. And if I disconnect it from my recording device, that's GG. I'll have to use one of the multiple backups I have for audio and it wouldn't sound nearly as good. So I kind of care what I'm doing the running in this. All right, so I can modify that later. Good job. Now, last but not least is dynamic stretching. What does that mean? Always do some dynamic stretching before you exercise. Dynamic stretching may keep your body flexible. It's best done before training as a warm up to help prevent injuries from stiff muscles. It's not quite the same thing as static stretching, which is where you hold yourself still while stretching. One is for warming up and the other is for cooling down. So, hello? Hey, Tip, are you listening? It might be quick if you just try it. So, let's see what they mean exactly by the stretching. I want to see just how let's begin with intense it is. Stretching. Try to mirror Tip's movements without overextending yourself. All right, music start. Keep your posture straight. Three, two, one. Go! Alternate bringing your knees up to touch the ring con. Okay. Make Definitely sure the sinking on this isn't the greatest. Alright, I wasn't prepared, but now I think I'm in. Sink. All right. Okay, that was it. I did an extra one. It's fine. Is the heel lift stretch. Bring the insides of your ankles up to oh, this is definitely ring. not awkward <laughs> right now. I'm so worried about pulling out my microphone cord. I am not going to lie, so I'm going to do this a little weak. I don't want to raise my legs too much. Right. Good. Next is the back straightening stretch. Take a big step forward and drop your hips. Okay, was not prepared. Don't okay, now I'm turning it around. That's cold. better. So this is just standard lunges. I'm working in a little sure smaller space than I would normally for a workout, so I'm not going to do these proper, but as long as we get some stretches in, it's not that big of a deal. Each. Finally, spread your feet. Raise the ring con above your head and lean to the side. This is just standard kind of stretching now. Your lower back straight. As you exhale, begin to lean. Let's do one more of each. Great job. All right, well, that wasn't that bad. So that was dynamic stretching. So I'd say that's pretty good. I already got my blood pumping, so good stretch. Now we can explore the world of ring fit. Ready? You have some water and a towel handy. I mean, I got the water. I didn't think of a towel part. I can just get that when needed. Speaking of which, stay hydrated. All right, so now we finished up all the tutorial stuff. We got everything all calibrated. Let's jump into the main event. Let's choose a style for the protagonist. So this is one I also heard they changed an update. There was only one set of stuff you can pick. I believe the male and female was the same, but I believe the ring itself, it does have a voice and it was just set to one uh, gender. I think it was male at the time. Now you can swap back and forth between them. So I'm gonna pick a male uh, style. Just trying to get as close to me as possible. Oh man, that is <laughs> that is the whitest of whites. <laughs> He's just blending with the background. That skin tone is definitely not accurate. There's a lot of different colors here. Uh, let's see. You know what? I think we'll go with this skin tone right here. This one seems to be closest to my skin, I'd say. Eye color I'm gonna leave on the green. Oh, I actually have to confirm this. I thought I was going to automatically select it. I just now seen the arrows or the check marks, not the arrows. All right, eye color I'm definitely going to leave on green. Blue is not that bad as well, but green is closer to my eye color in this, so we'll pick that. All right. Let's go. So this is the thing they changed in update. You can choose a masculine right. or feminine voice for the ring. All right. Let's go. All right. Let's go. I feel like the masculine one's a little bit easier to understand, so I'm gonna keep All it on right. masculine. Let's go. All right, let's confirm.
Okay, so the bringing of the world adventure, a movie five or so minutes long is about to begin. Do you want to watch it now? I kind of don't, so let's actually skip it. I already have time to watch something. I just want to get into the exercising. I've already been doing enough tutorial stuff. So let's skip that and just jump straight into the game. So you can take screen captures with the actual Joy-Con buttons instead of the actual capture, which makes sense because capture's on my leg. So I know we kind of just skipped a bunch of story, but the, the gist of it is we find this ring out there and hey, he's alive. You pick up the ring and oh, you just set loose this bad guy and now you have to chase after him. Like that's the gist of it. So we're kind of just wanting to see what this game is about. Not really the story. Hmm. This is perfect. It's like they say, you gotta strike while the muscle's hot. Let's go. Okay, so I just have to follow him, and I have set stages, so let's go to stage number one here. Yeah. Alright, so, Dragux was a... Ret wait, is that his name, Dragux? Different. I mean, he's kind of a dragon, so I guess it's pretty accurate. Alright, so Purple Aura. The dark influence now creep up and weaken your heart and consume you. Man, this is dark for fitness game. <laughs> so we gotta stop that guy as soon as we can. Not surprising. This is definitely your standard chase after a bad guy story, but it's a fitness game. I'm surprised they even added a story. All right. So first level, let's just go ahead and just jump straight in. Take about two minutes, burn about close to 14 calories. Let's do it. I can compare records with everyone online so I can compare all my records to my friends when they're playing Ring Fit and have a friendly competition. I'll go ahead and turn down my volume a little bit more so it's not too loud on my ears. Now let's get started. All right, let's go. Start off with a light jog. There should be a door just a little further along this path. I don't see any doors yet, I just see a lot of green. That was a weird sentence. Oh, air bursts. And I can control it by twisting and turning the ring con. Sorry, dear. Didn't mean to shoot ya. This game does look pretty nice. Like, it's very cartoony style, but it's a very expressive cartoony style. You can kind of spam these blasts too, like... I'm not really pushing in that much on this, and it's it's firing. Little collectibles here and there. Looks like the currency in this game. It's pretty simple. If the aim seems off, I may be misaligned. Just face me downward to recalibrate. All right, so those are recalibration. That makes sense. Every game with motion control like this has a recalibration. I see a door. Oh, you can even point this up. Oh, I gotta shoot the door. That's simple. Seems like this stage still far is just kind of running. Not very much else. Oh, watch your step. Maybe if I watch my step. Try pointing me downward and pressing in. Oh, nice. that's an air burst. So that's basically my jump in this game. Makes sense. So we pick up the pace a little bit. Ooh, I got a medal. Looks like there's three per stage. That's your main collectible for 100% sake. Okay. I'll definitely say this is a workout so far. It's not helping that I'm talking while doing this. Oh, got to do knee lifts. That wasn't that bad. Still worried about right. unplug my microphone by raising my leg too much. Man, seriously, this does look really nice. I'm gonna wait here for a second and go. Oh, I missed it. Just barely. I need to run a little faster, but again, I don't want to overexert myself too much and pull out my equipment on me. So, I think it's a little easy. What's this? Oh, 
Now if I pull, it's a vacuum. You got it. That's interesting. All right, let's move. All right, let's just keep on moving. So you can do the vacuum when you're running too. So that's good to know. You got and you can even suck in those metals. All right, good. Well, that's the end of the stage. Now turn your exercise into experience points with a victory pose. All right, what's the victory pose? Charge your squat power, but don't overextend yourself. Release toward the victory! Oh, okay. Simple enough. Just a little, yeah, at the end of the stage. Just kind of showing your excitement. So, oh, that actually burned 20 calories? The estimate said about 14, so I burned a lot more than I thought. Time and distance was accurate, but the calorie one I'm kind of surprised about. So, after every stage, you get tallied based on the exercises you do for your experience. That's an interesting uh, system for EXP. Amazing how quickly you adapted to this world. I used to wonder how things would turn out. So I guess now we get a little more story in between the stages. Looks like it. This is your chance to take a water break. Because you gotta stay hydrated. This ring? Talking to me? Talking to me? I already got a ring, I don't need you. This one wasn't easy to find. You were too easy to find, I don't like this. Okay, I guess we gotta just pull it. Come on, snap off. I can really hear my Joy-Con rumbling. Man, this thing really vibrates. All right, we broke the ring. It looks just like the one I'm holding. Oh man, we freed a bad guy. Whatever shall we do? So this is the guy we're chasing after in the story. This is how we set him free. We found a ring, pulled it, boom, here he is. Where's ring? I'll teach him a thing or two about trapping me. Don't tell him. Teach him three or four things. Man, this guy has a sense of humor. Is that the ring talking? I think it was the ring talking. Ah! Sorry if I surprised you. That was Drago. He's a dragon who radiates a dangerous, dark influence. So it seems like the only to one that has voice that acting is the ring, so which is interesting. Oh, my name is Ring, by the way. Drago's dark influence has a horrible effect on anything it touches. If he were to release it in all its power, his influence could cover the whole world. I have to stop him, but my power alone won't be enough. Wait, you're not from around here, are you? Right, right. Of course you're not. Hmm. Yes, it could work. I can see the potential. Could you try holding your right hand over me? Lightly cover the IR motion camera with the pad of your right thumb as shown. Interesting, so now I'm having to cover up the IR sensor. I've not used this thing since I played uh, the game that came with 
The Switch, or one of the first games I released that should have been a pack in, to be honest. I'm trying to remember the name. Oh, one two Switch. See, it's that forgettable. It's the only game I ever played that uses this thing. I will say, this is a little sensitive. Measuring. Please do not move your thumb. All right, it's done. My hair is on fire. Put me out. Synchronizing complete. Can you feel it? We're connected now. Come on, let's go after Drago. So that's how you say the guy's name is Drago. I was pronouncing it wrong earlier. Huh? Is something wrong? Your hair went out. You're going to work with me on this, aren't you? The more you exercise, the more synchronized we'll be. You'll know we're in sync when your hair flares up. I'm counting on you. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, that was definitely a stage. Pretty easy. A lot of story. Definitely a first stage in a video game. So, time to move on. Let's go on to stage two. Alright, so definitely know it's not going to be easy. And this one's definitely longer. 4 minutes, 20, 20 calories burned, man. Topical. That is the year after all. At least the time of filming this. About 0.29, so close to 0.3 miles run. Oh, let's just jump in. Get started. I can shoot the things here on the side. Look like some extra weights. Shoot those. I can get some coins. Try pointing me down, pressing in, and holding. Oh, I gotta just hold it. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Screw up the jump. I still got it. Oh, I see what they mean now. I guess I wasn't holding enough before, but I could just get a little girth, uh, gust of air and just kind of stay. I kind of wish I could point this out more, like behind me in a way, then I can go faster. I made it. Suck up all that stuff, make it a little bit easier. Shoot this box. All right, we're getting there. Oh, what's this? It's an oh, enemy. I knew these guys would show up. To defeat the monsters that Drago created, you'll have to fight against them in bit battles. This is where we do more exercises. No need to worry. I'm a fit battle expert, so if you're feeling a bit intimidated, just leave it to me. You can think of fit battles as the collision of two combatants' exercise energy. Come on, let's warm up by giving this guy a smoothie blend of kale and punishment. Okay, so now I gotta use my fit skills, which is just a bunch of different exercises. So I can select the skill by turning the ring and just kind of pick what I feel like it. Okay. Let's Seems like each one has a difference of attack, although in this section all the same. I could pick a random one if I just don't really have a preference. Uh, you know what? Let me actually do the first one here. Let me do a squat. That'd be the best to show up on camera. Exercise correctly for the maximum power. Alright, so if I do this perfect, I'll get more hits. Don't do it as correctly, 
Less hits. Makes sense. This is pretty simple. Good. Keep it up. Oh, the little icon over there in the top left actually tells you just what this is working out in your body. So I'm working on my quads. I can really feel the rumble on the on the other Joy-Con. Oh, still going. Nice. Amazing. Gotta do a lot of reps. And it's almost instantaneous when you get back up. They have to go back down. Challenge yourself. Okay, now we're going faster. Honestly, I kind of prefer going faster because it's a little bit easier to do this in a rhythm. Really felt that one on my legs. Alright, ab guard. So I gotta defend with the ring con tightly into my stomach. That's how I do this. Okay. I have hearts that you'll lose. Makes sense. This is my health. Okay, so I point it in with the Joy Con facing me on my left. So press it into my abs. With your legs bent slightly, Stay right around here, be a comfortable spot. Alright, that definitely lost me some health, but not by much. Uh, let's see. Let's do the chair pose. Take this one slow. This one's not that bad. Thought I put the chair one next. Oh, there you go. He's dead. Good that was pretty easy. Get some money after defeating him too. Just like eh, a couple of RPGs. If you can like Pokemon after you defeat a trainer, you get some money. And that leveled me up too. So I got plus two attack and plus two defense. That's real good. Kind of prefer to get more defense if I can. Just kind of be on the safe side. So I like to play these kind of games. All right, now we're back into the swing of things. So now it's time to run. Ooh, get some hearts out of the battle. That's perfect. Kind of wanted those. Really have to run on that one. Ooh. Let me do that again real quick. All right, that gave me a little bit of extra speed. Oh, it didn't recognize my my pushing fast enough, but I think it was just coins, not that big of a deal. Oh, it's another guy. All right. So now let me pick something different. Let me do overhead press. All right, I think we cleared enough here. This one's definitely more physical than the other exercises. We gotta press this thing in. That's pretty good. All right, let's do the app guard. Keep squeezing. Pretty good. Let's select the skill. All right, let's do need the chest. This one's definitely gonna be awkward in my setup. 
So let me go ahead and adjust the camera real quick. All right, we are set now. Do our very best here. I don't know how easy this is gonna be to show up on camera. So let's just make sure everything's all good. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, definitely didn't think this went through. This is not gonna be good in the setup. I don't even know if I need the ring, probably don't. I'm just holding it just because. I didn't read the whole instructions when I was getting the setup. Why don't you put it down? Yeah, I don't even need the ring. <laughs> what was I doing with the ring? Let me set myself better with this. There you go. Okay, good. Great. Defeated him right when he was gonna do the fast uh, cycle in my exercise. So let me fix this setup real quick. Okay, now we got everything set back up at how it's supposed to be. So let's just go ahead and continue on, see what we got here for experience. That's about halfway to level three, not bad. Over 40 different fitness skills, oh, that's a lot. A lot of different uh, activities for you to do here. All right, let's get back to the running. All right, sweet, I got all the medals. That gave me a lot of experience, wow. That's almost as much as the battle. And that's it. All right, let's do the victory pose. There we go. I don't know if there's any point in doing that pose, I just, it's a nice little thing to do. So let's measure my pulse now, I wanna see what it is. Let me place my finger over the IR sensor. Imagine it failed. All right, let me try again. This thing is very picky. There we go. All right, this thing's very picky about the pulse reading, but it worked that time. Got myself a uh, reading here of 147 beats a minute. That is kind of high, but haven't worked out like this in a while, so that kind of makes sense. So you got percentage from max heart rate, calculate based on your age. All right, so this game does a couple of different things to measure pulse. That makes a lot of sense. So I burned about 27 calories, it's not bad. Here's all my experience for the level, which is to boost me up to level three. Cool. Got more buffs to my attack and defense. I got myself a, uh, a title. A hundred blast presser, that's nah, no, 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 a little neat. <laughs> Sorry for me to get my thoughts in yeah. place. I'm still catching my breath in the exercises. Oh. All right, so exercise is the best teacher. Hmm. I mean, for some things, yes. So I think that's all we're gonna do in the uh, story mode for now, simply because I don't wanna do too much more. So let's look at one more thing real quick. Here's the menu you can check for our uh, options in general, like your exercises and such. I can change my difficulty level here as well. Right. I got a little more story. Not much. Alright, so... I'm gonna quit here for today, yes. Oh, nope. I don't know why I did that. I wasn't thinking straight. Alright, so we're quitting for now. And, uh, oh, we'll get a cooldown after all that, too. So, we can review my results. If you sweated a bunch and now you're chilly, go ahead and change clothes. You should always do that after working anyways. I'm not going to change because I'm still gonna look at one more menu. So uh, I'm gonna just gonna look at my stats. So I played this for about eight minutes for exercise, burned about close to 50 calories. That's not bad at all. Here's all my exercises. Take screenshots of all this if you wanna share this around to your friends. 
You worked hard. That's a great result of the first day. I'd say so. So now let's go ahead and do some stretches to cool down. Static stretching after exercise is a great way to slowly stretch your body. So let's do some stretches. Let's begin our static stretching. You won't need the ring con. Okay, so I don't need this, so I'm just gonna put down the ring con the for now. Of your ability. Spread your feet, raise both hands, and hold your left wrist. While pulling on your wrist, tilt to the right. There we go. And stretch your side. I misheard that. <laughs> That's right for some reason. Hold this for a while. Position, switch hands and bend the other way. Stretch slowly. Don't overdo it. Bring yourself back slowly. I don't think I've ever stretched for that long. That's a long time to do that kind of stretch. Stretch your left arm to the side and hold it with your right arm. Pull in your arm and stretch the muscles of your left shoulder. Yeah, I really want you to hold these for a while. Oh man. Now do the same on the it's not really that strenuous, especially for this one. It's Be just surprising. Normally I do these in just a handful of seconds, not close to a minute. back slowly join your hands together in front of you with your palms facing out stretch out your back bring yourself back slowly put your right foot forward and cross your legs bend your body forward and stretch the back of your left leg. Oh, I don't like this one. Hold it like that for a little longer. Straighten up and switch legs. Stretch the opposite side as well. Breathe slowly as you hold. Slowly straighten up, bit by bit, starting from your lower back. Yeah, definitely the stretches down is one of the harder things for me, only because I don't have the best balance. Right I felt like I was going to fall your over. On your hips. Bend your right knee and stretch out your left calf. This is more like a lunge, which we kind of did as a warm-up stretch. Kind of surprising we doing this as a cool down, too. Now switch legs. Shift your center of balance forward and stretch out the opposite side. Bring yourself back slowly. Is that it? And your stretching is complete. Okay, that Good was job. it. Ample stretches just to keep your muscles moving at least. Makes sense. Now I'll need the ring again though to navigate these menus. All right, so post-exercise tips. What can I do to be healthy? Eat a balanced diet and exercise. Most people don't do either one of those things, sadly. So here's some more tips. Drink plenty of water is a big thing. You gotta remember to drink water. I'm drinking a couple bottles a day, so I'm good. But you don't wanna drink too much as you don't wanna drown yourself in water. There is a limit on how much you're supposed to drink. So, there you go, that's it. The Joy-Con batteries are running low, Should definitely charge them up. Yeah, put it on your Switch. Don't always leave the Joy-Cons in your Ring-Con setup. All right, so that is it. So, what's this, alarm. I'm not gonna notify you when it's time to train, even during sleep. So, if, I guess if you leave this game running on your Switch and put it in the sleep mode, it will turn its own alarm on saying, hey, it's time to do your workout today. So it's a good way to keep you coming back if you're not one to keep on a schedule. The game kind of forces you on your own schedule if you set an alarm, but I'm not really gonna do this per se. I just wanna go, you know, go in the menu and quit out because I don't really need a schedule. 
So one more thing I want to take a look at, and that is over here. The rhythm game. I wanted to see this as they added this via an update. So we're going to do this real fast. So this is the rhythm game. Get your muscles grooving to the music. This is basically, you know, guitar here, a rock band, whichever one we say. They do one for arms and for your core as well. Arm leg, core leg, it's a different way of doing things. And these are music pieces from this game and other Nintendo games too. So I actually want to do that in particular. It's going to take a while to find the Nintendo stuff. So I have the Wii Fit melody, Splatoon 2 melody, Breath of the Wild melody, the ground theme from Mario Bros, and Jump Up Superstar. These are all Nintendo based songs, so let me say it's the same thing for core and legs. Yeah, same song uh, selection. This is the workout's a little bit different. So I'm just gonna do one of these. I'm trying to think what's the best. You know, let, let's do a Splatoon one. See what we do with this. Now, I don't know how accurate I'm gonna be for this because I'm using Bluetooth headphones for the setup and they do have a bit of a delay. So let's just go ahead and see how well I work with about half a second of audio delay. So I'm just gonna pick Novice and make sure you have plenty of room, definitely do. Let's jump in. So catch the green beats but just touching them, so just stand still for that. Rotate the Joy-Con, left and right to get them moving. Self-explanatory. Catch the pink beats or pressing in. All right, I gotta do the same thing for the side, but it doesn't seem it needs to be like 100% accurate. I could be fully to the left or right and it still counts. So the blue, you just pull apart. I guess I do the same thing here. Oh no, I got a squat. Oh, okay, that lasts for a while. Okay, I get it. Oh no, you don't even have to do anything, just stand still. Man, that's a long beat. And I gotta do the same thing for blue ones, but just pull it. Holding a pull is a little bit easier than holding a, a push in. Okay, the mashing one is really weird. That one's gonna take some time to get used to. All right, so timing is straight for push pull of the key. Hopefully I have good timing with a tiny bit of audio delay. That is gonna be my excuse for this and it is a reasonable one. Ready? Let's do this. So it seems to be like this is a very forgiving game because I'm doing this early, I'm not getting penalized. I love Splatoon music, so this is going to be a really fun one to do. So far I will say the beat isn't lining up perfectly with the song. It's probably because of my difficulty selection. I imagine this is a little bit better on the harder difficulty. Now it's starting to change it up. Guys, pay attention here. So far this is pretty simple. I'm wondering if they're gonna change the song up soon. This is the main theme for the Splatfest event in Splatoon 2. Sadly, those are over now, so most of the time if you're listening to the song, it's via things like this. You're not actually really able to hear this in the plaza anymore, sadly. Unless there's maybe like a random Splatfest that can come back. Like that Encore Splatfest they did back in May. Or, no, it was April. Oh. Okay, here we go. Now we're changing up the song doing the main theme of Splatoon 2. I don't know why, I kind of want to lean in when I push and pull. It's kind of a weird trait I'm starting to develop.
Oh, almost missed that center ring. That would have been embarrassing to have a long combo like this and just lose it to something easy like a center ring that you don't have to push a pull for. I wonder if we're gonna see those uh, blocks they have to like squat for. We haven't seen anything yet about squatting. Just in the tutorial. That was it. Wow, I got a perfect. I was not expecting to get a perfect score in my first attempt. 127 amazings and 10 greats. That's really good. I got an S rank for that. Man, you bet I'm gonna record that. That was good. So I can pick my user. Obviously, I'm gonna pick my profile because that makes the most sense. There you go. I'm definitely gonna want to try this later on on the harder difficulties, but that was fun. I enjoyed that mode. All right, I think that's actually going to do it. So, last thing it's talking about is the online ranking system where it's a leaderboard you can share with your friends. Makes sense. Also, you can check world rankings with this. I wonder where I stack up on this. Let's find out by pressing the ZR button. So, it's like me. Go ahead and update ranks and see where I'm at. Okay, so on the weekly, I'm on 167 for novice. That's not that bad, actually system. I guess this is a ranking system that goes across the profiles, which makes a lot of sense. For I'm ranking, I'm the only one right now on my friends list who's playing this, so right now it's just going to be me, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, I think that's actually going to do it, so I think now with all that said, that was Ring Fit. This game's a lot of fun. I really do enjoy this, and definitely something I'm going to really get a lot of mileage out of for exercises. This is definitely one of those more in-depth exercise experiences I've ever played. This is a very strenuous workout program compared to something like the Wii Fit games because a lot of those games in Wii Fit, they're mainly for either your upper body strength or just stretching in general with all the yoga exercises. So they're not the best for burning calories, but Ring Fit definitely seems like a step above that. So I'm really looking forward to this and I'm not knocking the Wii Fit games. I've played those for years and I've actually lost a good amount of weight playing Wii Fit. So, there's still a great workout routine, especially if you don't have a Switch and you can't get a copy of Ring Fit. This is definitely the thing to do for the Switch, but if you don't have this, Wii Fit's still a pretty good alternative for a lot of exercises, but I was looking for something more strenuous, and I think Ring Fit's definitely gonna meet that bar for at-home workout routines, so I'm definitely looking forward to playing more of this. But with that said, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.